Four minutes after 11 is the time. We can't put this person on the list because they are as yet unidentified. I don't, I don't think we can start putting anonymouses on the list. Um, but Stephen Swinford, the political editor of The Times, reported yesterday morning at about quarter past nine that Boris Johnson's colleagues who'd been on a Zoom call with him were very upbeat and ebullient. One of them was even... Here you go. This is. Imagine this. Imagine you get Boris Johnson as your man, right? And you were talking to a, a senior political journalist, and you wanted to prove that this was that he was different, that the leopard had changed his spots. Nadim Zahawi debasing himself in the pages of the Daily Telegraph, talking about Boris 2.0. We're not Boris 2.0. We're Boris 12.0, and it's just as addled, curdled, and corrupt as Boris 11.0, 10.0, 9.0, 8.0, 7.0, 6.0, 5.0, 4.0. and 1.0. Just ask any of his wives. He doesn't change his spots. He never changes. But there's Nadim Zahawi going, oh, no, he's really changed this time. He's really changed this time. He's promised me he's changed. No, he's changed. He's not. He's not. He's changed. He's really changed. So this guy on the phone to the political editor of the Times, casting around for something to say to, to persuade people, Johnson's really changed. Oh, he's really changed. Do you know what he came up with? He, 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 even, he had his shirt tucked in. That was 8 o'clock yesterday morning. You could tell Boris Johnson had really changed and was... 